Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, we're going to look at multi-camera editing. Editing a project in which you have multiple cameras shooting the same subject, or in which you want to switch back and forth between multiple cameras. So here we have three cameras. We've labeled the tracks mid, close, and wide. We only have one audio channel. And that's not going to be involved in the multi-camera edit. Notice that I've already synced these channels up. So these three channels are already in sync with each other. You can do that in multiple ways. You can shoot audio with each channel and sync the audio up. You may have time code in your video and then you can use the time code to sync them up or you can just use the video itself to sync them up. Perhaps have a flash at some point in the video that you can sync up to. To start your multi-camera edit, you choose the track headers. That's this portion right here. So this one is already selected. I'm going to hold down my control key and select this one. Hold down my control key and select this one. Then go up to tools. Tools, multi-camera, create multi-camera track and it shrinks them down into one track. But if you look at any one of these clips here, right click and take and you'll see there are three takes here. And I can choose any one of those takes. And that's actually one way to go about the multi-camera editing. So for example here, right click I'm in my mid take, but I could choose my close take. But often a more convenient way of doing multi camera editing is to go to Tools, Multi Camera, and Enable Multi Camera Editing. And then you can see you see all three takes up here. I'm going to drag this down, get that a little bigger. So now, for example, I'm in my close take. You can see that because of the cyan box around it. And by the way, you can go to Options, Preferences, Video, and choose the active take color right here. Choose any color you want. I'm just sticking with the default, which is the cyan. Now, wherever the cursor is, it's going to create a split and change the take from that point on. So this is a close take, but if I go here and click mid, it splits the take. It keeps this one close, but it's mid from that point on. Also, if I hold down the control key and choose a take, it will crossfade. So I'm going to choose the wide here, but hold down the control key. You can't really see that crossfade, but if I expand the track a little bit, there's my crossfade. Now this crossfade if you look down here, it's exactly one second long. That's also configurable. You go to Options, Preferences, Editing, and you see Cut to Overlap Conversion Seconds. It's 24 frames. We're editing at 24 frames here. So it's 24 frames, one second. I could up that to three seconds, let's say. Just hit Return. Now I'll use the down arrow key, so I'm not so expanded in my view. I'll go right here. Now I hold down the control key and click mid. It changes it to mid there. And if I hit the up arrow key here to expand the timeline, you can see here that now that is three seconds. And I'll just use the down arrow key here now to get a wider view of the timeline. One of the new features in Vegas 10 is being able to expand your single camera view back to three tracks. That was not available before. So you simply select that header here, which we already have, go to Tools, Multi-Camera, and expand to multiple tracks. Now what it's asking us here is if we want to keep the takes that were not selected muted. So in other words, it will preserve our edits essentially. We'll be seeing exactly the same thing with multiple tracks that we're seeing now with a single track. So I'll say yes. 
and then you can see that these takes are muted, all the ones that we had not selected. One thing about this is the tracks no longer have their names. However, it still does remember those names up here. And in fact, if I go back and select these again, hold down the control key, select these three track headers, go to Tools, Multi-Camera, and Create Multi-Camera Track, it still remembers those names. They're just not on the tracks anymore. Another thing you can do, which I'm not going to demonstrate here, but I'll just mention it because this is a new feature, is preview full frame on an external monitor. And that's just going to Tools, Multi-Camera, Show Full Frame in External Monitor. So if you have an external monitor, you can be previewing with all three of your takes, or four if you have four, and yet still be seeing the full frame on your external monitor. Now here, if you want to see it full frame, if you don't have an external monitor, for example, you can still go back to your full frame view quite easily. Just go to Tools, Multi-Camera, and unclick Enable Multi-Camera Editing, and you get your full frame again. And then anytime you want to, just go back to Tools, Multi-Camera, Enable Multi-Camera Editing, and you're back to your multi-camera view. Now once you've made editing decisions, you can always change them. So for example, I could go here. Here I've got my wide view, as you can see. I could right-click and go to Take and choose Mid. So you're never stuck with a decision that you've made. You can also do that for multiple clips at a time. So for example, here we have a clip, it's mid. The next clip is also mid. I'm going to select this, hold down the Shift key to get both of those, and then right-click here, Take, and Wide. And it changes them both to Wide. So that's a brief introduction to multi-camera editing in Vegas 10. The three new features that we looked at were previewing full frame on an external monitor, choosing multiple events and setting the take for all of them at once, and expanding your multi-camera track back to multiple tracks. I hope this has been helpful, and thanks for tuning in.